my name is John Ocampo and uh, I wanted to go over with is um, merging duplicate vendor or customer records. So most likely you'll have many vendors much more than this um, and sometimes um, I've seen customers um, forget that they've already had a customer set up and so they would create a new customer and um, enter in data from there. And so they'll have multiple vendors, multiple customers. And um, so it'll, it'll just be messier overall. Um, what we can do actually, let's go close this, is we can take um, two, two master records and merges them together with the current information and um, we can get rid of the duplicate. So what that looks like is we go into vendor card. I believe it's under more options, actions, functions, and merge with. Okay. So this is what the screen looks like when you are um, merging duplicate uh, record uh, record lists. Let's go and merge with. So I know for sure that um, this 110 Fabricam is um, a duplicate. Um, maybe um, they were a customer I've ne I haven't used in a while. And so I forgot they were there and I just created a new one. So let's go ahead and um, select this. And so this is what the fields look like. Um, if you see here, you can see the current value that you wish to keep uh, on, under this column. And you can see the, the alternate value for the duplicate you, um, you chose. And so what you can do is if, um, let's say, this test duplicate contact is actually the most current contact. If we go ahead and click override, it'll go ahead and um, create that as the new contact once we um, merge. So we can review the data here and see what we want to do. And let's say it's the only thing that's current. Everything is good to go. Let's go ahead and click merge. We merge these two records. And now it has been merged. So now in our vendor list, um, that Fabricam 110 doesn't show up anymore. Um, any historical data like posted uh, entries for this uh, vendor will now be merged with this um, current vendor now, uh, Fabricam Inc. And so, you can also see that the test duplicate contact, which we uh, designated as uh, the most current contact, has been transferred in over. And so that's how we can do that. And we can do that with, um, uh, we can do that with vendors or um, customers.